Hello, I'm Michelle Ogborn of Ogborn Law. I'm an attorney in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm Steve Keist, senior partner of Keist, Thurston, O'Brien and Walsh in Peoria and Glendale, Arizona. So we often see lots of our clients coming in and one of the biggest questions that they have is spousal support. Are they entitled to it? If so, how much and how long? Yeah, almost every case it seems like people are interested in spousal support and whether they're entitled to it or not. And of course we have these sort of unwritten rules <laughs> in the legal profession where we believe that if a marriage is of only a certain length, mm -hmm. then spousal maintenance really isn't an issue. But there are no hard and fast rules, right? It's a subjective thing. It's not like child support where you just do the math. So. Less than a five-year marriage, you can have a tough time getting spousal maintenance without some exigent circumstances. Wouldn't you mm -hmm. agree? I agree, especially in the litigation context, because while there are not clear rules, like you said, Steve, um, attorneys and judges kind of have these unspoken rules that we kind of follow implicitly, right? And that's really what we're talking about. And because there are no clear rules, we get a lot of unpredictability um, in the results that we see. Um, in fact, there was this great CLE with some judges just right. a few years ago. A, yes, there was a CLE. We had eight, I believe, eight Superior Court judges. They gave them each a fact pattern and asked them to say what they would determine the spousal maintenance should be. And we got eight different results. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you're in the litigation process and spousal support is something of concern to you, just know that there's a lot of um, variability and it's unpredictable what your outcome could be. However, if you look at the collaborative divorce process, we can come together as a team and look at the needs of the whole family. And where you might not get spousal support in a traditional litigation case, it might be an option in collaborative divorce. Yeah, absolutely.